You're here with us this morning as we take you on a journey of great joy, some tears, but a wonderful way to experience the power of a wish. This all would not have happened without one special person that we have here in the room. 30 years ago, a man named Frank Ramos had a dream to start serving the children of this community who were faced with great illness. And with that, the joy and the strength and the hope has come alive in so many children and we're seeing about 75% of our children actually go on to live long and healthy lives. Many of them are with us here today. We promised him we wouldn't make him speak tonight. He spoke last night. <laughs> Thank you. Frank, on behalf of 4,999 children and thousands of volunteers, staff, everyone here in the room, we want to thank you. Small token of our appreciation for Make-A-Wish Living this long, all the way into 30 years. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, everyone that's here today. to see how much time it takes and stuff and how many fans they actually really have and how it feels to be a pop star. It wasn't a lot more fun than being in the hospital for a couple of days. A lot. <laughs> Can you sing a couple of verses for us? Sure. I'll sing Someone Like You by Adele. I heard that you're Settle down that you found a girl and you're married now. I heard that your dreams came true. Yes, she gave things. That's great. Thank you. What's it like uh, having your wish delivered in front of a few thousand of your closest friends? It was so crazy to think that they could pull it off, but then I gave them props to it at the end. I was like, okay, you kept that a secret from me, and that's pretty, pretty cool. And it just took all your troubles away for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah, it did. So is the treatment any easier now that you've gone through Make-A-Wish? I mean, is your attitude a little better? Yeah, um, treatment, well, for me, um, I just ended treatment. Um, so it's been a lot easier on that aspect. But even during um, treatment when I went on the wish, it, it just kind of made things a little easier to say, okay, I, I don't have to worry about this today. We're not advocating going against doctor's orders, but this is kind of a unique in a sense, doctor, because I, I've heard anecdotally, and I guess you'll tell us that, you really saw medical evidence of what a wish can do. Yes, I mean, this wish was great for Heather. We'd been very concerned. The treatment was quite hard on her. She was having a real hard time. She basically wanted to quit treatment. And along came this opportunity for the wish from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And then the timing couldn't have been worse. She was doing, like she said, the worst of the whole treatment. And it was, well, stop treatment completely and let her go on her wish. 
keep giving treatment and just pray she comes back. Um, well, Make-A-Wish knows what they're doing. It's only L.A. Go for it. And that's how it went down. We're not doctors, but we play them at the wishing house. You know, as Christians, we know that there's three things that will last, and those are faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these is love, and we have experienced that with Make-A-Wish's involvement in our lives. And it's going to help a lot of folks, that, as he mentioned, that are homeless, don't have jobs, and need a little help, and this will be going on for a long, long time. It's going to have a great legacy. Yeah. Mom, we're all very proud of you, and we wish you the best. Thank you so much. You know how to raise a child. We're very blessed. Thank you very much. Give Andrew our best. We're thinking of him, okay? Brian began developing symptoms in 1999, and they were starting to get worse when we got a call from a saint named Diane Carlson, who came to our home with another saint from Make-A-Wish of Long Island, Jimmy Byrne. Brian was told that he could be anyone, he could go anywhere, he could meet anyone, maybe the Giants quarterback, maybe a rock star, maybe go to Disneyland or Disney World or take us on a cruise. Nope. He said one word, Amanda, as in, remember this was 13 years ago, Amanda Bynes. True to form, everything about this trip, because it was Make-A-Wish, was a pure, magical vacation from our problems and from Brian's illness. First, they rooted us through Houston so we could leave our one-year-old adopted son with my mother. Then we flew off to LA, there was a limo, took us to Studio City, rental car at our disposal, spending money, Studio City tour, Disney tour, Nickelodeon, personal meeting with Amanda the next day who showed Brian around for hours, then let him sit with her for a private lunch, and two days later, a prime seat as they taped her TV show. That was the last vacation Brian had before the disease ravaged him. He wouldn't be able to walk or talk, he lost his sight. I'll spare you other details, but at the worst moments, when he was in terrible pain, or angry, or we could tell, scared. We would talk about Amanda, and I'd point up to the pictures, and I'd talk about I'm still getting splinters out of my legs, I'm sitting on those benches. And he would laugh, and he'd come right back to being himself. It wasn't long after that that I told Barbara, I said, I'm going to go over to Make-A-Wish and see if I can do anything for him. Well, he said, oh yeah, you can, you can MC a few things, and you can come on our board, and the rest is sort of history. It's because I knew I didn't want to just help this organization. I wanted to help the families and the kids because I saw the side of it that a lot of you will not see or the volunteers don't see. I know the pain they suffer, and I know the joy that they receive when a wish is granted, and I know the joy that we receive when we fulfill our mission. The power of the wish is immense, and in so many ways, it does so many magical things. So if you are already one of our partners, we thank you. And if maybe something you've heard today has touched you or inspired you, we hope this morning that you will come join us. Bring us your money, your time, your talent, your spirit, your energy, and come join something we're calling the Chairman's Circle. You'll see brochures on your table. It's a new campaign. And I want to leave you with something that uh, Abe Lincoln said that really puts my mission in perspective, and maybe yours too. Mr. Lincoln said, to ease another's heartache, is to forget your own. Thank you. We asked this young person to make a wish, and when we asked him to make a wish, he said he wanted a used piano. Now, what kid would want a used piano? He says, the music will sound better because it had been loved already. So at this point in time, We'd like to invite to the stage Ethan Roberts and the Roberts family. So Frank has orchestrated all this, and we want to see if you wouldn't mind trying out the piano. Let's see what you got. Got up 
feeling good? Mm -hmm. I hope it stays that way. Is this a dream come true? Definitely. I mean, this is something that's going to last me a lifetime. Just the piano you wanted. Could have gotten a better one. Huh. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, enjoy it. You're, our, uh, you're an exceptional young man. You're our 5,000th wish, and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. Tammy and Lee, thank you very much and God bless. And thank you all for coming. Have a great day. Supporting English.